So, Mr. Beast versus Dude Perfect. I will definitely say this. Um, I uh, I still both love the channels. I think they are still great channels. And you're probably wondering, what is it I'm going to talk about with these two channels? Well, I basically just want to give my thoughts on them and where I think they're heading in the future and basically that. So, um... Well, and mainly just to talk about my thoughts about both the channels. So, well, as you all know, Mr. Beast, he um recently, uh, like basically back in the end of July, he hit 120, yeah, no, 100 million subscribers. Literally at the very end of July this of uh, last year, he hit 100 million subscribers, and he is freaking I don't know, like the fourth or fifth channel to do so. Yeah, and he, and right now he's at 129 million, and he's still growing strong, still going fast. It's you know crazy to see where he's at right now i mean like i mean if you think about it when you look at a channel that has that many subs you expect them to be pulling off millions and millions of views of video and he's the ex perfect example he literally gets over 50 million views on a video now and it's crazy but then you have uh, dude perfect you know uh, they used to you know they had they were really big back then uh, back in you know 2016 uh, 2015 2016 or so and 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 now you know not so much anymore um the, i mean they're still big but not as much anymore um there was a big back Battle that actually my brother did it was you know the mr beast vs do perfect live subscribe battle and i remember he streamed that for like a couple days or so and that was pretty big for my brother and i because we were literally gonna be seeing two of our favorite channels go head to head and uh, you know you know mr beast took over so um but yeah i mean uh, yeah do perfect they're just you know right now what they're doing is they're basically just making some of the best videos they can for family family entertainment they're not really trying to go anywhere right now they're not really trying to hit a subscriber goal they're just trying to keep on making great videos and i think they're doing a great job at it they're you know they're posting shorts and whatnot and they're still going on with uh um uh what's that show um what's that show, uh, show what's that show called um overtime they're still doing overtime and you know they still do some trick shot videos here and there not as many anymore but you know recently it's been uh, so i'm not gonna show my screen or anything but i'm just gonna go over and see what kind of videos they've been pulling off recently so recently i'm not gonna be showing my screen but recently it's been uh, like uh what was it they uh mainly overtime um still battle videos here and there quite a lot of battle videos uh for the most part it's really has been just battle Battles and overtime for the most part. That's what has mainly been. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, like right now, I mean, like they're literally what they're focused on is just making still great family-friendly entertainment content, and I think they're doing really good at it. I think they're still doing great at it, and you know, they're not, you know, they're, again, they're not pulling off the views that they did back then. And I mean, they're pulling off still great views right now. They still are, but they're gonna probably just be continuing to get these, in, and they're just gonna live off until um. I th I think what their plan is after they're gone is they're gonna be having their kids take over the channel i think that's what's gonna be happening that might just might go on further and forth for on and foremost so but yeah and also we do perfect they actually um recently they re um announced their um the 100 million dollar theme parks so i don't look at the camera as much um but they released but they recently released their putting out the 100 dollar 100 million dollar theme park and that's supposed to be insane we don't know where it's gonna be at um they i think they had a couple locations they teased in the video i'm not sure what they were we're gonna be seeing a um a theme park of them and i don't know where their other warehouse is gonna be because i don't know where the other warehouse is gonna sit at like i don't know if it's just gonna be completely empty in the future i don't know but and it's gonna be crazy to think where what's gonna like no what is else gonna say um that it just didn't feel that long that they've had this warehouse for and they're already talking about a 100 million dollar theme park like, that's just insane I, I didn't think they'd have the money to afford that like with the amount of views they get on the videos i didn't think they'd be able to afford that but i mean they can i think they i i don't know how they i don't know what they do to reinvest back in their videos i don't know how they do it um but we'll be seeing that soon and i don't know where the other warehouse is gonna be doing i don't know if they're gonna be making that empty or what they're gonna do with it but you got, you know, Mr. Beast, you know, I consider him right now mainly the king of YouTube. I, I consider them that. I consider him that. And and though he's at 129 million subscribers as of recording this video, he's, um you know, he uh, yeah recently surpassed PewDiePie not too long ago. He actually did recently tweet out that he that he's going to he wants to surpass T-Series to get revenge for Poods. 
um he did that in a tweet not too long ago but but yeah i mean he's saying so for dude perfect and mr beast in 2023 uh, you know i think dude perfect's still quite relevant you know they're not again they're not as big as they used to be back then they're not but you know they're still pulling off a good amount of views um they still are i still watch them it's hard to say what category they're in my favorite channels i like, I, I don't i'm like i don't even have like a, a top five or top ten favorite channels but they're i mean they're definitely a good channel i still watch i still like to watch them uh nothing nothing compared to miss i mean not nothing but like um i still watch mr beast much more than do perfect and uh, it's crazy that i actually uh, um met do perfect in real life so we're talking about real life i legit met them at a um they did a tour it was a pound and noggin tour and this was this is this was literally my state and they did it literally about what what was it 20 minutes away from my city where i currently live and they did a tour and then i got to meet them that was one of the craziest moments of my life but i was a lot more nervous for him my mom and dad didn't go and that made my brother and i more nervous and i literally thought i was gonna throw up like it was so nerve-wracking for me eh? and but but after that the concert the the whole show was great it was absolutely amazing eh? but then you know a few years later I re I I participated in some duper and some uh, Mr. Beast challenge. Um, not I don't, it was a Mr. Beast challenge. It was like uh he was giving away shirts, and if you bought one, you'd be possibly picked to be FaceTimed. And I bought one, and I got randomly chosen. I got the call, Miss. Uh, I got to call the whole Mr. Beast team. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and I got to literally pay and be on call with them for like ten minutes straight. Like absolutely amazing. I didn't get that experience to do perfect at all. It was absolutely amazing. Um, like literally with do perfect, it was like what was it like a minute and a half and so with them it wasn't that long it was like no probably, it was probably a minute it was probably a minute with dude perfect mr beast i had the whole crew on a call with them for like 10 minutes and then i got the call be on the call with jimmy for like a few more minutes like that and then the crazy part is is that i actually he i i asked him like three different questions on if you would rather give me money or follow me or something like that but um he ended up following me on instagram and to this day i've had him followed on my instagram but sadly i got hacked but got back blah blah Blah. So yeah, he uh Miss Beast follows me on Instagram and uh, yeah, it's crazy. So um but yeah, I think for the future of Dude Perfect and Miss Beast, I think that I'm gonna still continue watching Dude Perfect. I'm gonna still continue watching them. They're not they're, I think they're gonna be continuing to get the same amount of music mu uh, views they have a video. I think they're good, gonna continue getting that. I think Mr. Beast is just gonna be getting uh, he's gonna easily be able to achieve a uh, hundred million views in a month or less and, and the next many come upcoming videos he has. Like it's gonna be crazy where Mr. Beast is gonna be like at the end of this year i personally think that by the end of this year i think do perfect will hopefully have 60 million subscribers uh i think mr beast by the end of this year hopefully he will have like 150 i i really hope he passes set india this year we all hope that we all hope that he passes t-series but you know he has to pull off some big bangers to be able to pass t-series this year t-series is at like 234 million 232 million subscribers right now so mr beast has to pull off a ton if they want to pass t-series this year but i have no doubt my mind Mind, Mr. Beast is. Um, I know down my mind that Mr. Beast will be passing T. I'm um, set India this year. So yeah, that's basically uh my just kind of rundown of like my thoughts on Do Perfect versus Mr. Beast and all that. And um, I think if they got together for a video one, I think it'd be a great. Vi I think they'd film a great video. I think it could. I think it would be great. Yeah, I don't know what they would film, but but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat on this. And uh, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys all next one.